In mathematics, an operator is generally a mapping that acts on elements of a space to produce other elements of the same space. The most common operators are linear maps, which act on vector spaces. However, when using «linear operator» instead of «linear map», mathematicians often mean actions on vector spaces of functions, which also preserve other properties, such as continuity. For example, differentiation and indefinite integration are linear operators. Operators that are built from them are called differential operators, integral operators, or integro differential operators. Operator is also used for denoting the symbol of a mathematical operation. This is related with the meaning of operator in computer programming. See operator computer programming. Topic Linear operators The most common kind of operator encountered are linear operators. Let U and V be vector spaces over a field K A mapping A, U V is linear if A alpha x plus beta y equals alpha A x plus Beta a y display style a alpha math bf x plus beta math bf y equals alpha a math bf x plus beta a math bf y for all x y in u and for all alpha beta in k. This means that a linear operator preserves vector space operations in the sense that it does not matter whether you apply the linear operator before or after the operations of addition and scalar multiplication. In more technical words, linear operators are morphisms between vector spaces. In finite dimensional case linear operators can be represented by matrices in the following way. Let k be a field, and u and v be finite dimensional vector spaces over K display style K let us select a basis u 1 u n display style math bf u underscore 1 l dots math bf u underscore n in u display style u and v 1 v m Display style math bf v underscore one l dots math bf v underscore m in v display style v. Then let x equals x i u i display style math bf x equals x caret i math bf u underscore i be an arbitrary vector in U display style U assuming Einstein convention and A U V display style A U to V be a linear operator then A X equals X I A U I equals X I A U I J V J Display style A Math BF x equals x carrot I A Math BF U underscore I equals x carrot I A Math BF U underscore I carrot J Math BF V underscore J Then A I J equals a u i j element of k display style underscore i caret j equals a math bf u underscore i caret j in k is the matrix of the operator a display style a in fixed basis a i j Display style a underscore i caret j does not depend on the choice of x. 
display style x and a x equals y display style a math bf x equals math bf y I F F A I J X I equals Y J display style a underscore I carrot J X carrot I equals Y carrot J. Thus, in fixed bases, n by m matrices are in bijective correspondence to linear operators from U display style U. V display style V the important concepts directly related to operators between finite dimensional vector spaces are the ones of rank determinant inverse operator and eigenspace linear operators also play a great role in the infinite dimensional case the concepts of rank and determinant cannot be extended to infinite dimensional matrices this is why very different techniques are employed when studying linear operators and operators in general in the infinite dimensional case. The study of linear operators in the infinite dimensional case is known as functional analysis, so called because various classes of functions form interesting examples of infinite dimensional vector spaces. The space of sequences of real numbers or more generally sequences of vectors in any vector space themselves form an infinite dimensional vector space. The most important cases are sequences of real or complex numbers, and these spaces, together with linear subspaces, are known as sequence spaces. Operators on these spaces are known as sequence transformations. Bounded linear operators over Banach space form a Banach algebra in respect to the standard operator norm. The theory of Banach algebras develops a very general concept of spectra that elegantly generalizes the theory of eigenspaces. Bounded operators Let U and V be two vector spaces over the same ordered field for example R and they are equipped with norms. Then a linear operator from U to V is called bounded if there exists C0 such that A X V C X U display style of math bf x underscore v l e q c math bf x underscore u for all x and u bounded operators form a vector space. On this vector space, we can introduce a norm that is compatible with the norms of u and v. A equals i n f c a x v C x u display style a equals i n f c a math b f x underscore v l e q c math b f x underscore u. In case of operators from u to itself, it can be shown that a b a b display style a b l e q a c d o t b any unital normed algebra with this property is called a Banach algebra. It is possible to generalize spectral theory to such algebras. See asterisk algebras, which are Banach algebras with some additional structure, play an important role in quantum mechanics. Examples <laughs> 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 Geometry In geometry, additional structures on vector spaces are sometimes studied. Operators that map such vector spaces to themselves bijectively are very useful in these studies, they naturally form groups by composition. For example, bijective operators preserving the structure of a vector space are precisely the invertible linear operators. They form the general linear group under composition. They do not form a vector space under the addition of operators, e.g. both id and id are invertible bijective, but their sum, zero, is not. Operators preserving the Euclidean metric on such a space form the isometry group, and those that fix the origin form a subgroup known as the orthogonal group. 
Operators in the orthogonal group that also preserve the orientation of vector tuples form the special orthogonal group, or the group of rotations. Probability theory Operators are also involved in probability theory, such as expectation, variance, and covariance. Indeed, every covariance is basically a dot product, every variance is a dot product of a vector with itself, and thus is a quadratic norm, every standard deviation is a norm, square root of the, quadratic norm. the corresponding cosine to this dot product is the Pearson correlation coefficient, expected value is basically an integral operator used to measure weighted shapes in the space. Calculus. <coughs> <coughs> From the point of view of functional analysis, calculus is the study of two linear operators, the differential operator d d t and the indefinite integral operator 0 t Fourier series and Fourier transform The Fourier transform is useful in applied mathematics, particularly physics and signal processing. It is another integral operator, it is useful mainly because it converts a function on one temporal domain to a function on another frequency domain, in a way effectively invertible. No information is lost, as there is an inverse transform operator. In the simple case of periodic functions, this result is based on the theorem that any continuous periodic function can be represented as the sum of a series of sine waves and cosine waves. F t equals a zero two plus n equals one infinity a n cos Omega N T plus B N sin Omega N T display style F T equals a underscore zero over two plus sum underscore N equals one carrot in T a underscore N cos Omega N T plus B underscore N sin Omega N T the tuple a0 a1 b1 a2 b2 is in fact an element of an infinite dimensional vector space 2 and thus fourier series is a linear operator when dealing with general function rc the transform takes on an integral form f t equals 1 2 pi minus infinity plus infinity g omega e i omega t d omega display style f t equals 1 over sqrt 2 pi in underscore in a t caret plus in a t g omega e caret i omega t d omega topic laplace transform the laplace transform is another integral operator and is involved in simplifying the process of solving differential equations given f equals fs it is defined by f s equals l f s equals 0 infinity e Minus S T F T D T display style F's equals math call L F S equals int underscore zero caret in F T east caret street F T D T topic fundamental operators on scalar and vector fields. Three operators are key to vector calculus 
grad gradient with operator symbol display style nabla assigns a vector at every point in a scalar field that points in the direction of greatest rate of change of that field and whose norm measures the absolute value of that greatest rate of change div divergence with operator symbol display style nabla cdot is a vector operator that measures a vector field's divergence from or convergence towards a given point curl with operator symbol times display style nabla times is a vector operator that measures a vector field's curling winding around rotating around trend about a given point as an extension of vector calculus operators to physics engineering and tensor spaces grad div and curl operators also are often associated with tensor calculus as well as vector calculus topic see also function operator algebra list of operators operator physics <laughs>